So since last week, we've been talking about the uh, NYSE. Today, joining us on the show is the Director General, National Youth Service Corps, Brigadier General Shwebu Ibrahim, to discuss the controversy surrounding the ex existential of the scheme, its usefulness in modern-day Nigeria, and the challenges of running a program of such magnitude amid worsening insecurity in the country. Welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, thank you for having me. Good to have you, sir, General. Right, so let's start with um, the recent conversation in the National Assembly about the possibility of scrapping the scheme because of um, maybe it's, they, they feel it's not useful anymore. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that's the step in the right direction, or do you think we can still find some um, reasons to keep the scheme ongoing? I think it's democracy in action, and uh, people are entitled to their opinion. But as far as we are concerned, okay. NYC is contributing greatly to our national development. Uh, of, when I came on board, I also know there are challenges here and there, and NYC, I told uh, the management and the staff, we must put our ticking caps and see how we can add value to the operation of the scheme. And on this, we're back on several innovations which we are doing. And I can assure you that uh, ah, the core members, the core members have been wonderfully well. The recently, uh, I discovered that most of our activities are not known to the public because of what absence of adequate documentation. And I came up with a, with a committee on the need for us to document what the NYC is doing. And we came up with nine books on the NYC. I can assure you that if not for core members, our education sector in Hesoto would be in a very difficult situation. Okay. If you find out this from our governors. The essence of the NYC was more to bring about a unity. So you are able to experience other cultures and the way of life of the people to understand that we are one. And it's, we've run it over the years. I am worried that it's not yielding the same results that it was intended to yield because till today we are still not united. We are still not a united place. Now that we have not met it, is it possible that NYC can be laid to rest first so that you people can reassess and then come back and make it better? Or we should just be running it the way we are doing? No, of course, we have undergone a lot of transformation and innovation. The NYC of 73 is not the NYC of today. NYC uh, is 48 now, and I've clocked two years also in office. So, and that is why we're on very really nine, nine of these books. So I can assure you that most core members, I can assure you, you as an ex comrade have a stories to tell. Some core members who were posted to others say where they, they, they serve, they, they are still there. They got married, they are having their own children, they are employed, right. they remain there. If not for the NYC, who will be there? I, if you go to our camps, I, the first question I don't ask core members in camp, how many of you have been to this state? They will say, you see 95% hands will be up that they have not been to that state. If not for the NYC, who will take them there? Let's bring this conversation home because there are parents watching you right now and they are happy that you're on the show. Yeah. Many of them are concerned because they feel That's that scary. there are volatile areas across the country. Don't you think <laughs> at this time we might need to suspend the scheme until things calm down and settle before we resume it. Because no parent wants to put their child at risk. There are people being kidnapped every day on the roads, schools being um, ambushed. What, what, how, how do you give comfort to a parent who is having to send their child away to areas in the southeast, southwest, north central, north east, and northwest? I want to assure you, uh, Madam, that the issue of security is not something I'll discuss with you here on, uh, uh, on television. We work closely with our security agencies and we advise accordingly. The welfare of our core members is very paramount to the federal government and to the NYC. We are parents. I will know what it takes for parents to raise their children and something happen to them. All we do is that we, we teach our core members, we educate them on issue of security and also appeal to them that please they should not put themselves in harm's way. Don't travel at night. All these guidelines are given to them. And I can assure you the security, they are very, they, they, they are, they are very concerned and proactive when it comes to the, the NYC. I read so it's, so that core members are killed and so on. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not true. The way we had challenges is the election in 2011 in Bauchi, 
That's why we had that this But to say that commerce are killed in the North is not, it's, it's not so. It's not, it's not a fact. We also want to appeal to parents to also talk to their children that your child should not you don't travel at night. Because most of the challenges we have, mostly road traffic accidents, when commerce travel by 2 a.m. And some men back on or not right journeys without even letting the, the, the NYC know. For you to travel out of the state, the state coordinator must permit you to travel. If you are going to travel outside the country, it is the only the, the only director general that can permit you to travel. But some come members and back on such unauthorized journeys without the knowledge of the scheme. The orientation, have, can you say in the past two years you succeeded in changing the mindset of people towards loving Nigeria and being united for Nigeria? Yes, madam. If you watch, just as I said earlier, if you watch NYC, our program on NTA, and you see what these ESCO members are doing, you marvel. You marvel what co members are doing. Co members from Anambra State, or from, say, uh, Lagos, served in Anambra, got married in Anambra, had a lot of children in Anambra, is working in Anambra, and has recently run to, to a permanent secretary. If not for the NYC, what we are taking there? Such a person, will you have, will you have said it about uh, our country to such a uh, ex co member? No. That's why they are uh, more patriotism. Co members should be patriotic. I can assure you that NYC has achieved its mandate. If the NYC is not there, I wonder what would have Nigeria would be now. Right. Every country has its own challenges, madam. And All we right. turn our challenges to opportunities.